Oh, wow, look at this. This is so cool. They Right. This is what we're up to today. I've got a parcel to open. Now, do you remember a little while back, I reviewed the amazing little wireless microphone from Cloud Vocal. I mean, this is a pretty cool little compact microphone. You can check out the original review I did for this up here, actually. But today what I've got is a new version of that microphone that Cloud Vocal have sent through to me to have a test. So I'm going to open this, unbox it, and then I'm going to compare it to the previous version to see if there's any difference to find out if maybe this is a better small wireless microphone for you as a saxophone player. So stick around, it's going to be good fun. Oh, hey, if you're new here and you like videos like this about saxophone gear and about learning how to improve your saxophone playing, then click subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Okay, let's dig in. G'day, it's Nigel here from Sax School. Hey, thanks for joining me for another one of these videos. Now, I love trying out new gear, and I'm really fortunate that through Sax School and through my YouTube channel, people do send me stuff to test out, like microphones, mouthpieces, and saxophones. But I have to tell you that I never get paid to test these things. So they send them to see if I want to try them out. And some things I don't actually make videos on because I don't really like them. But when I do find something that I do like, I love to make a video of it because it's useful for me to understand what's on the market. Also for my thousands of students that are learning with Sax School, it's good for them to find out about things and for you. Hopefully it'll help you to learn a bit more about choices for mouthpieces and microphones and gear, all that sort of stuff. So I hope you enjoy these videos and you should let me know in a comment if there's something that you'd like me to test out and try. Uh, also, if you find these sort of videos useful. Now, a little while back when I reviewed the Cloud Vocal Choice, I really like this microphone. It's super compact. And since making that video, I know a lot of my sax school students are actually using this as a gigging microphone, which is really cool. I played with it a little bit in my studio, but for me, most of the stuff I'm doing is studio based, so I prefer to use a studio quality microphone. But if you're out doing any sort of gigging, or if you're looking for a solution that's a compact home recording setup, then a wireless microphone like this is actually quite a good thing to check out. So that's why I was keen to find out about this new cloud vocal microphone called the iSolo Prime. Now they tell me that that have upgraded the capsule, this part, the recording part, in this new microphone, so it'll be interesting to test it out. Okay, let's get started unboxing it then. So, we've got a box. Nice. Don't you love bubble wrap? Okay, so this is the Cloud Vocal Prime Wind Instrument Version. I like this. You play music, we mic it. Should I open this one first? Oh, I always want to open the ugly box first. Okay, we've got a power supply. And actually, what's really cool here with this power supply is I've got British and European plugs. And it's got the American stuff on it too. Now, this sounds like a really small point, but to be honest with you, it really bugs me when, in England here, when sometimes you buy products and they only come with European plugs on them. So at least here, they've got all three. They've got American, British, and European. I don't know how you get on if you're in Australia. That might be a bit of a hassle. Here we go. Okay, so let's open up the box and see what's inside. Okay, nice. We've got our main package. It's the same sort of package that the previous one came in, actually. And then we've got an accessory box as well. Oh, so. An aerial, a quarter inch jack cable, and some other cables in here as well. Awesome. So we've got our receiver unit here. This is great. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. This is so cool. They've put sax school on the bottom of me microphone. Look at that. Oh, now. Now you get a lot of brownie points for that cloud vocal. That's really, really cool. And in here, some instructions. 
a bunch of attachments and some Velcro. So that's all the stuff that comes in the box. So we've got our microphone. I love they stuck my name on it. You've got the receiver unit and the little extra aerial that goes with it. Power supply. You've also got some cables to charge up the microphone, some little attachments and some extra bits and bobs and cables. And really, I really like the cases that come with it too. So if we compare the, uh, the new model with the old model, you can see the body of it is exactly the same, but the capsule here is different. So it'll be interesting to see how they sound in comparison to one another. Now, one of the things I really liked about the previous version of this cloud vocal microphone was the simplicity with how it connected to the bell. Because I have to say from lots of experience using wireless microphones, if the connection with the bell isn't right and you're moving around a lot, it can be a real hassle because the microphone will flap around. I've had that problem before. So the way Cloud Vocal do this is very simple. They've got these little plastic clip things and they give you a few of them. There's five of them that have come in. Oh. There's five of them that have come in the packet. And all they, they do is literally clip onto the side of your bell. So once they're snapped on, you've got Velcro on the side of it and Velcro on the actual microphone itself. So all you do is you just Velcro it on and there you go. You are set up, ready to go. Now, you might think that's kind of flimsy, but the thing is, because the microphone is so light, it doesn't actually wobble off. So you can probably play around with whereabouts you have it. You might want to have it at the bottom. Right, let's get this plugged in. Right, just before I start playing, let's compare the two units side by side. So this is the older choice and this is the new Prime. Now you can see that they basically look identical. Um, we've already talked about how the mics themselves look exactly the same format apart from the capsules, but the receivers are also pretty much identical. A couple of little changes with the graphics, but they're really sturdy boxes and I like that. Super important if you're going in and out of gigs, packing and unpacking all the time. You don't want something that's plasticky. This is solid metal, it's gonna be durable. Now all the connections on the receivers are the same. The only difference really is that on the older choice, you had only four built-in effects, whereas in the new one, you've got a whole range of eight different effects that you can choose here. Pretty cool. There's, uh, I'll show you what they sound like actually, all the different effects in just a minute. But if you didn't see the other review, then basically the way the controls work on here is you've got your EQ, you've got the gain master and the um, gain from the actual microphone. You've got your effects chooser here, and then you've got the mix between a dry and wet effects mix. So basically how much of the effects you're adding to the sound. Connectability, exactly the same. You've actually got a nice list of all the effects on this one, which is cool. On the old model, there's no list for what the effects were. I mean, you only had four to choose from, I suppose. There's a line in here, so if you're connecting backing tracks, let's say, you could have a backing track feed into here, power supply, and then the output that goes to your mixer or to your computer or whatever comes out this side. Okay, let's connect it up and have a listen to how it sounds. Okay, I've got both microphones connected on my saxophone here. We've got the new Prime and the older Choice. Let's get them side by side there so we can see how they sound on this track. Here we go. Oop. Okay, so that was pretty interesting, but what about if I play something without a backing track? In fact, I'm gonna play just through a jazz standard, but I'm not gonna use any effects on the sound whatsoever. It's just a nice clean signal, and let's see if you can hear the difference between these two microphones. Let me know in a comment what you think and which microphone you prefer. <laughs>
Now I mentioned about the inbuilt effects on the Prime, and we've got eight of them. So let's have a quick listen to see how they sound. I'm gonna turn the mixer up to halfway, and then we'll just go through them one at a time. So this is number one. Nice reverb. Number two. So that's a much longer reverb. Number three. A really long reverb. Number Okay, now number six is kind of interesting. A weird effect, that one. Number seven. That's a really cool one. And the last one, number eight. So that might be cool if you turn it all the way up. So what do you think about that? How do you like the sound of the new Prime compared to the older version of the Choice? Can you hear a difference? Which one do you prefer? Let me know in a comment. Now it's really interesting, as I listen back to these recordings I've been making today, I can hear a definite improvement in the sound quality with the new Prime. It sounds fuller to me, it's got a wider uh, frequency range, I think. Now there's always a trade-off when you're using these small microphones, and they rarely sound as good as a, a big studio microphone, but they're so convenient. I mean, how small is that? You can pop it in your bag. It's just, it's also a lot less hassle when you are setting up at a gig so much less gear to carry. So there's definitely a place for these microphones, and in my opinion, although I really like the old Cloud Vocal Choice, I think the new Prime is a fantastic improvement. I love the sound, and I also love the extra effects that come with it. So I think if you're looking for a wireless microphone, this is something you should definitely consider. It's quite great value for money, and it's got some really cool features. Hey, thanks for watching. I really hope that's been useful to you. And don't forget, if you enjoy videos like this, then consider subscribing to the channel because I'd love to share the future videos that I'm making with you as well. And also, if you're looking to upgrade your saxophone skills, then have a think about joining our sax school community. We've got thousands, literally thousands and thousands of people who are members of sax school who are using our lessons every single day to improve their improvising or to develop much better tone or to develop their performing skills and more importantly, connect with a whole bunch of other musicians just like you to support you along the way and have a lot of fun with play, playing saxophone and making music. So right now, as I'm filming this, you can get a 14-day trial to Sax School. So come and check it out. I'd love to see you in there and help you along with your progress too. Okay, well, whatever you're doing, keep practicing hard, and I'll catch you next time.